Good morning from a sunny and relatively a little bit foggy Nürburgring for NLS 3. So uh, obviously there's a clash between Monza GT World Challenge and NLS 2, so we missed that, which was a shame. But we're back to finally start the Nürburgring season uh, after the cancellation of NLS 1 with the snow. It's four and a half degrees at the moment, so it's still standard Nürburgring, but touch wood, uh, the forecast looks dry and at least raceable. There's no snow, certainly, on the forecast. So um, I've been here two days already. We had an exclusive test with BMW Motorsport on Thursday. development stuff there uh, and then also we continued that tire development into the Friday uh, standard test as well so um, the cool thing is we've got Christian Cronias here for the first time this year he hasn't driven since the Nebo Ring 24 hours last year uh, he's gonna be part of our Nebo Ring 24 hours lineup um, so it's good to have him here and uh, get some laps in uh, he doesn't need many laps he's bang on the pace anyways yesterday which was great to have um, and also Ben Tuck is joining us as well uh, and also he showed some mega pace yesterday um, for his uh, experience in the GT3 car and uh, it'll be good to get for him to get a race under his belt. So let's get to the track now. Uh, oh, it might be a little bit damp this morning in Quali. I'm out first, so uh, yeah, those first couple of laps could be interesting. So let's go, race day. So uh, qualifying order has been set. I'm out first thing. Um, Sometimes it's a golden hour at the very beginning of the session, so I'm going to try and uh, put in a good time then. Uh, otherwise, it sort of ends up being the second half of the session uh, where Chris will finish the session. So uh, it looks dry, it looks cool, good conditions for us. Let's see what happens. So qualifying started well, um, cool conditions, normally suit our car and tyre pretty well. Found myself some nice space and was gearing up for a nice lap. However, uh, down the Fox R I got a vibration. From the front right suspension and had to nurse the car home for an 11 minute 45 lap time. Uh, not the start to qualifying that we wanted. Uh, a mechanical failure unfortunately stopped me from completing my lap, but I managed to bring the car back with Pretty limited damage and the Volcanos boys were straight on it to get it fixed in about 20 minutes. However, in that 20 minutes, we got a red flag so we couldn't go back out again. And then Chris went out for his first flying lap and was also caught in a red flag. So it was a pretty terrible qualifying session for us. And the main thing was that after Chris did his check laps and his half a qualifying lap, uh, the car was absolutely fine and good to go for the race itself. Uh, I would start the race. So after a pretty terrible qualifying session, we're P32 out of 33 GT cars. Um, so we're at the back. The only way is forward and I'm starting. I can't wait to send it. Hold on tight.
So after six laps, I pitted to then hand over to Ben Tuck so he could get his laps in. He also completed six laps. His first race into the GT3 car, so it was good for him to get that off his back and he did a good, really good job um, yeah, with the, the managing more traffic, obviously being in the fastest class now and his pace uh, carried on from Friday. So it's good, really good to have Ben on the team. Chris then completed the race by doing a double stint at the very end of the race. He can't do the qualifying race next weekend because of Norway's quarantine rules, unfortunately, which means that he obviously needs every single lap that he can get. Um, I pitted from about P19 or so. Uh, we made a good call on the strategy to pit when we did, and uh, we were able to get just inside the top 15, finishing 14th on the road and then 13th after a penalty for another car. A little bit disappointed with the overall result, especially after all of the success that we had last year. I kind of got used to being in the top five effectively. Um, however, given our starting position, I think it was a good result. We learned a lot, especially with the setup this year. I think we made some big steps and I think we can carry that into the qualifying race this coming weekend and also the 24 hours. I think hopefully we should have a competitive package. I really hope we can have some more straight line speed. Anyways, um, yeah, that was NLS 3, not too bad, and we're straight back into race week again with the Nürburgring 24-hour qualifying race coming up. A race that we won last year, so make sure you check out this uh, the vlog on that. Uh, probably one of the biggest races of my career that I've won. Uh, so yeah, thanks for tuning in. Hope you enjoyed this video. Until next time, ciao, ciao.